be quick. <laughs> Faster. Hello everyone and welcome to the final day of Pwn to Own Vancouver 2024. I am Dustin Childs, Head of Threat Awareness here at Trend Micro Zero Day Initiative. And with me is Brian Goritz, who is the Vice President of Threat Research and the Director of the Zero Day Initiative. Brian, how are we doing today? We did great. It was a long day, lots of great entries into the competition. We've actually really had two awesome days, lots of variety in the competition. We're you know, happy to have everybody come out from all over the world to participate and uh, it's been exciting. In fact, this was the largest Vancouver competition we've ever had, correct? That is correct. It is the largest. I think over 26 entries uh, in, in the competition. The team did a great job putting it all together and making it run super smooth. And here we are, finishing on day two. And really, I think one of the things to me, one of the big stories was the return of the browser. Very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. Uh, web browsers are a big part of Pwn to Own's past, and it was great to see so many browser entries in this year's event, plus the double tap. Can you explain what the double tap is? Yeah, the way the double tap works is you can register in either Google Chrome or, or Microsoft Edge. And then if your exploit works on the other browser, in this case, Google and Edge, then you win an extra amount of money. Or if you hit Edge and then Chrome, you win this, uh, an additional amount of money. So it's really great. Uh, you have the one exploit hitting both browsers. That's really cool. Yeah. But we can't talk about browsers without talking about, of course, Manfred Paul. Mm -hmm. There are four browsers in the competition, Firefox, Safari, Edge, and Chrome. How many did he hit? Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Uh, how long has it been since we've had four browsers and one person, not just one team, one person has hit all four of those? Uh, it's been a long time, all the way back since, since Loki Heart was participating in the competition did we have one person to actually exploit all of the different browsers in the competition. And it, he had one in Firefox that included a sandbox escape, right? Correct. Yeah, and it was successful in the competition, ruled unique by Mozilla, and uh, so we're excited to get that one in there, help harden the sandboxes of uh, Mozilla. Congratulations, Manfred. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's great, Ben. I'm really excited about that. Manfred earned over $200,000 for two days of work. Very well deserved because he did some great stuff. Uh, there were three double taps altogether. He had one, and then there were two others, correct? Yes, there were. I think they're out of the South Korean teams, and uh, you know they are doing amazing work over there. You know, it's a, it's a really active research community, and we're glad to see them come in and participate in the browser. Happy, happy, you're no time my property. So that is great. Okay, so the browsers were a big story, but also this was our first year to have cloud native apps, including Docker, right? Yes, correct. You know, we included in a competition because we wanted to see how, you know, an attacker could go from inside a container to outside on the host. It was uh, quite interesting to see. Yeah, we had one entry from Star Labs SG and they were successful. They earned $60,000 in six master of Pwn points with their Docker escape. Yep. Not the first Docker escape ever to be shown, but the first one here at Pwn Own, so we're super happy. Yeah, excited to see it. Yeah, can't wait for next year because I know a lot of people came into the room talking about it and saying $60,000 for that. Well, I guess I'm participating next year which will be great to see. Yeah. And of course, our partners, Tesla. Yeah. The Tesla entry was really great. We had we did not have a car here because it would be too dangerous to actually do this on the car because it's an over-the-air attack. So, Brian, what can you tell me about that sort of attack? Yeah, the way that it worked is uh, the Synactive team was able to connect to the VC sec, uh, ECU within the vehicle. They exploited a single bug inside of there and were able to get code execution inside of that, inside of that processor. <laughs> Uh, it was very interesting technique when, whenever they, you know, the bug gets patched and they release the white paper about it, that it was worth reading because it is quite interesting. It absolutely is worth reading and it's actually worth researching too because that one exploit, that one bug was worth $200,000 and a Tesla Model 3. So that is their second car, right? Yeah. Specifically, they want the white one. So we'll see the if white Tesla one. can actually That's interesting. That. I think they're getting a garage put in <laughs> in St. Active Headquarters yeah, over probably. in France. So, what was the total damage? And, and I have the number. You're going to see if I can remember it? Yeah, I want to see if you can remember it, and then I'll, t I'll tell you I what. I think it's uh, 1,132,500. You are correct, sir. That is a big number. That is two commas, and that is our third contest in a row. We are over $1 million. In fact, if you look at the Pwn to Own season, which starts in October and then runs through March now, we are at 3,494,000. $250 for all three contests. And that is just amazing going from Toronto to Tokyo with automotive and now back to Vancouver. 
almost three and a half million dollars awarded through Pwn to Own. Did you ever think that you would get to the day when no. we had three and a half million? Yeah, definitely not. I mean, we were, I've been running this for a long time, and you know, we were doing competitions back in the day where we were only giving about, you know, two or three hundred thousand, and all of a sudden we're here at, you know, over a million at this competition and three million over the season. Uh, it's awesome to see, you know, we appreciate Trend investing in this, in this competition and, and giving us the freedom to actually go and bring some bugs out from the wild and actually get them closed up and fixed. Yeah, and just to put a little historical perspective on it, the very first Pwned Own back in 2007, we paid ten thousand dollars, and that was mm -hmm. it. Yep. So from ten thousand to three and a half million, whoo, that's mm -hmm. growth. It's good, it's good growth. It's yeah. good growth. Yeah. Uh, hey, listen, we want to thank everyone who came and participated. We had a lot of fun here. We kind of made it a cozy cabin scene. We kind of leaned into the lumberjacker theme with our chainsaw, which is our master of pwn. And I guess we should go ahead and say who is master of pwn. And of course, with two hundred and two thousand dollars, two hundred and two thousand five hundred dollars. And 25 master of phone points that would be manfred paul manfred paul that's right the master of browsers is the master of pwn uh he certainly deserves it uh and we had some other great competitors who came close finishing in the top five but uh manfred definitely earns this and uh, i just want to thank everyone who participated in the contest both here and remotely uh we especially enjoyed all the local people who showed or the people who showed up locally I want to thank the vendors who showed up and received all these bugs. The vendors now have 90 days. They are on the clock to fix these bugs. Otherwise, you know, we might disclose a little bit of extra information. Let's see how it goes. And see how it goes. That's how we hold people accountable. And that's how we help uh, everyone with these bugs. And of course, we want to thank the contestants. Uh, they put in a lot of work. It may seem really simple when they run a, a bug and it's five seconds and it hits, but there's a lot of work that goes into that. A lot of hours. I know our uh, last uh, one of our last contestants, Chompy uh, Valentina, she said that she was working on her bug like right up until she got on the plane yeah. to get here. Yeah, it's, you know, it's exciting to see all the people come out, like, like Dustin was saying, you know, a lot of really innovative research. You know, you'll see a lot of it being presented later this year at the various conferences around the world, and we're excited to be some of the first to see it uh, and, you know, work with the vendors to get it fixed. And as always, there were a few interesting points of uh, a contest, no contest, no Pondo contest <laughs> at least is complete without a few things here or there. Maybe you'll hear about that in the future too. Yes. Uh, but there's some fun stories to tell as always. So our next event is not Pondo in Toronto. Because Trend Micro uh, closed their office in Toronto, which kind of puts a crimp in our doing Pondo in Toronto. And we haven't decided where we're going yet. Uh, but until then, Anything else, any last words that you want to say? No, I just thank all the contestants for participating, all the vendors that came out. It was really great to see everybody in person, VMware, Google, Microsoft, Apple. You know, it, it takes a lot of commitment for them to come out here and, and receive the bugs and help us in the judging process. It's a lot, a lot of work, uh, and we you know, want to thank them for, for being involved in making this contest, you know, what it is today. Yeah, and I also want to thank uh, Tesla for co-sponsoring and offering their support. Uh, we would not be able to do the Tesla Absolutely. entries without them. They're a fantastic team of security researchers. And of course, thank Trend Micro for giving us the budget. They, they did give us the budget this year? Uh, hopefully. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> they, for giving us the budget uh, and letting us do these fantastic contests. We have so much fun, so much work, but it's so great to see the amazing research that we see, the amazing exploitation techniques, and of course, getting those bugs fixed and getting pre-release filters out to Trend Micro customers. So with that, anything yep. else, Brian? Yep. All right. So for one final time from Pwn to Own Vancouver 2024, I am Dustin Child saying thanks, and we'll see you at the next one. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, this is what I call excitement. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs>